Why did Tyrannosaurus Rex have such small arms? I think dinosaurs are amazing, or were amazing, I guess. <laughs> I love learning about prehistoric Earth and the incredible creatures that roamed it and ruled it. I recently took a trip to Melbourne Museum to visit Victoria, a marvellous T-Rex skeleton which is currently a touring exhibition visiting various museums around the world. Victoria the T-Rex is some 66 million years old and is an incredible specimen, being one of the most complete and well-preserved T-Rex skeletons that have been found. In many dinosaur specimens, we're lucky to get 10 to 15% of the fossils. It's just a fact that many parts of a dinosaur aren't preserved in the tens of millions of years between the animal's death and now. <laughs> Something often happens, which means that they're lost to history. But more than half of Victoria the T-Rex's bones are there, 199 bones in total, which is incredible. Her skull, actually, wasn't displayed on the skeleton, the one up there is a replica, but the real one is one of the best ones that we have found. It's on display a little closer to the ground so that we can appreciate all the details. It's pretty cool. I was really thoroughly impressed by the sheer size of the dinosaur. I knew T-Rexes were big, but never actually had seen a fossil with my own eyes before. I was just floored by the 12 meter long skeleton. Imagining this creature once roaming the earth was something that filled me with wonder. Seeing the massive tail, the monstrous head and the extremely solid legs puts you in awe of just the size of the thing. But I couldn't help but notice the arms. The arms were not as majestic as the rest of the creature to say the least. They were tiny, comparable or even perhaps smaller than my own arms. T-Rex's arms are less than a metre in length, which is odd, especially because their skulls are over one and a half metres in length. So it poses the question, why are T-Rex's arms so short? They surely can't be good for much. They can't reach the ground, they can't reach their head, gosh, they can't even reach their other arm. So why did they even have them? Well, we don't really know. What's that music? Has this video been a mystery vault video this whole time? What? There are things in this world, in this universe, that we don't know. Mysteries to science. I'm not talking about Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. I'm talking about things we know that we don't know. Join me as I jump into them on this episode of Mystery Vault. The first probable T-Rex fossil was discovered in 1892 by paleontologist Edward Drinker Copen, and it was at the time named Manospondylus gigas, which is not Tyrannosaurus rex. Though the fossil in question was only a single bone, and wouldn't be attributed to Tyrannosaurus rex, which was later discovered more fully by Barnum Brown in 1905. Since then we've always been puzzled by the little arms. This massive creature, the biggest biped that we had ever discovered, had comically small arms. And as we've learnt more about the T-Rex, as we've uncovered more fossils and done more research, the purpose of their tiny arms has never become much clearer. It appears as though they didn't really use them at all because they were simply too small to be used. We think that T-Rex hunted by using their large, extremely strong jaws to rip chunks out of their prey and then have them bleed to death before eating them. The arms weren't probably used for hunting at all. And as mentioned earlier, they were too short to reach their mouths, too short to reach the other arm, too short to touch the ground. They wouldn't have even helped them get off the ground if they had fallen over. They wouldn't have been used for putting food in their mouths or for fighting. They were just too small compared to the rest of the creature. But we do have some hypotheses. And I use hypothesis and not theory because for all intents and purposes, a theory is pretty well a done or known thing when it comes to science. The very best way we understand something. Whereas a hypothesis is much more of a guess in comparison. One hypothesis as to why T-Rex had such small arms was that if they were any bigger, the animal would be totally off balance. T-Rex continue to this day to be the biggest two-legged creature ever, and their massive tail was needed to balance the enormous head. 
the creature's back was pretty well horizontal, parallel to the ground. If they had arms much larger, the animal wouldn't have been able to stand up. It would have fallen over. So it needed small arms. Another hypothesis is that they grew short arms because there was less risk of amputation. There is some evidence that suggests that Tyrannosaurus rex, especially juvenile T-Rex, would feed in packs. Their bites were extraordinary. They literally hunted by ripping massive chunks out of their prey. So it's reasonable to suggest that their bites could fairly easily bite off the arm of another T-Rex. So to avoid this unfortunate amputation, little arms. They can't get bitten off if they're too small to be anywhere near the food. And the final hypothesis we'll look at today is that the T-Rex's arms didn't shrink. They just didn't grow. There would have been evolutionary ancestors to the T-Rex that were smaller. Then over millions of years, they grew legs longer, bigger heads, and a longer tail. For evolution, survival is the goal. T-Rex developed an extraordinary skull with incredible jaws and teeth. They didn't need their arms for hunting or for survival. So when the rest of the T-Rex's body scaled up to match the head, the arms didn't get the memo and remained small. But really, we still don't know why T-Rex had such small arms compared to the rest of its body. It's possible that it's a combination of the three hypotheses we've examined today, but it also may be something else entirely that hasn't been discovered or published. We may know one day, but not today. And in fact, when it comes to evolution, there may be no one particular reason that something is the way it is. The questions why may not even be a valid question when it comes to evolution. There may not really be a reason, just a roll of the evolutionary dice. I look forward to seeing what paleontologists come up with in the future about their discoveries around these incredible creatures. The way we understand dinosaurs has transformed drastically since we first started uncovering fossils, from the way they were built, to the way they stood up, to the way they walked, and even to what their skin looked like. We're learning new things about life on prehistoric Earth all the time, and I think that's pretty cool. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know in the comments below and with the like button. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them down there below as well. And if you'd like to see more videos about things that I find interesting, that inspire me a sense of curiosity and wonder, I invite you to subscribe to That's Pretty Cool. Thanks for watching, take care, stay curious, and we'll see you next time.